yeah, we should. How be doing is that. a human being dressing how they want to dress, sexualizing anything? It's a human body. Why is that a sexual so thing? So you think adults should be able to wear whatever they want? If sure. Children? Sure. So Canadians are really uptight. You go to sure. Why not? Well, it's a body. It's a human body. Why not? So it's what, a human body. Should we have size. naked men reading to little kids? Sure. It's a human body. Oh, okay. Hello, my friends. Hello to all of you. People that uh, just bump into my channel and wondering what's happening. People that are already with me. And uh, lately, loads of you hit the subscribe button. I appreciate that. Thank you for giving me the chance to share with you my heart. Now you've seen in this video something that uh, us as Christians, we have to condemn. I don't want to be a Christian that... Uh, says, oh, it doesn't affect me, so I'll just be silent. I don't want to be a Christian that uh, minds his own little universe, goes uh, every Sunday to church, and uh, thinks that uh, that's it. I've done what I was supposed to do. How many of us Christians, we do just this. We just sit in our little universe, in our little corner. We mind our own business. And then we carry on every Sunday. And then when life is getting worse, and when we are affected, then we are wondering what happened, why we reached there. Well, we reached there because we were voiceless, because we refused to speak up. Not because we didn't have the chance to speak up, no. But the vast majority, they choose to be silent. I had this experience. I tried few years ago when there was a consultation, the government uh, was asking the opinion of the public regarding a certain issue. I'm not going to share right now because it's a lot to say. I tried to coalize the people from the church. It was a social issue, something important. So I tried to coalize people from the church in which I was going that time asking them help me because, uh, look, our voice needs to be heard. And nobody was interested. No one. No one. Can you imagine this? That's my experience in how much Christians take care to be involved in every aspect of this life. Fast forward a few years after that uh, episode, and uh, today I'm a non-denominational Christian. I have nothing to do, and I don't want to have nothing to do with no denomination, with no uh, part of this uh, institutionalized Christianity. I had enough. Had enough. Music, uh, as usual, uh, white battle with you. And uh, uh, let's talk about what you just seen. This lady, Canadian again. Any gasp of shock? No. No, because uh, sadly, so many, in the, not just in Canada, but in the Western world, places in which uh, they had too much for too long, they became um, deaf and blind when it's about spiritual matters, when it's about what's right and what's wrong. This lady says, you've seen her. A Canadian lady, no name provided. Uh, I don't even think uh, it's important. She became now uh, famous, infamous, because of what she said. She says that it's okay for a man without clothes to read from a book to a child. Well, again, this controversy with drag queens. I, this is a big... Uh, issue now everywhere especially in america but not just in america you know these people they are passionate to put up a show in front of children in front of children they are passionate to do this they think this is the right thing to do and there are apologists like this lady i've seen her what she said that uh, it's okay it's okay no, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay for someone naked, man or a woman, in front of a child. It's not okay. It's not okay. Let's uh, 
put serious delimitations between us as adults and children. Let's allow children to have their own space in which they are innocent, in which they, they have their own world. A world in which uh, us adults, we shouldn't mess it up with. We should allow them to have their little universe. In the end, uh, you see how it is. Childhood doesn't last forever. To be a child is just a short time of your life, of your existence. That's the most beautiful time of life in which we are innocent. We are dependent on our parents. We don't have to worry about anything. Don't you miss being a child? I do miss. I didn't have to worry for anything. I live in that uh, beautiful, fascinated world in which uh, whatever I imagine, at least for me, became reality. That's what it is when you are a child. Why as adults, we, we want to interfere with that world of a child and uh, to strip away from it uh, innocence and purity. Why we want to do this? I wish I know. Or maybe the answer is that we are wicked. The answer is that our hands are dirty. And we need to come to God to ask him to purify our mind, soul, and spirit. I think this is the answer. Us. When I say us, it's humanity. Humanity. That's my comment to what you just seen. God bless you all. Thank you so much for coming and seeing my videos. Hopefully sharing my videos too. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button. I appreciate it. As you see, that's what you see here. I'm a Christian, I'm not apologetic about it. I'm a conservative, not apologetic about it. And I'm passionate to make a difference. Music, white bat audio, Kalkisi. See you soon, friends, brothers and sisters, and all.